Today is a great day to be a buck and elk. Oh, it's a great day to be a buck and elk for sure. Today is a great day to be a buck and elk. Extremely happy. Today's an exciting day. We are having a ribbon cutting today for this beautiful new gym for Elkin Middle School and Elkin High School. I'm Dr. Steve Hall. I'm the superintendent of Elkin City Schools. As we open our new gym and have our ribbon cutting this morning, uh, we're so excited. Uh, it's a beautiful facility, uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of planning. It's been several years in the works, but we're so grateful uh, to open this facility. It's not just a place where students or sports teams can come and play or practice. It's a place where the community can come and gather. Uh, it, it's a great day for Elkin City and for the whole Elkin community. My name is Amanda Burton and I am the proud principal of Elkin High School. First I would like to express um, my gratitude and just thank you to our county commissioners and boards of education, both past and present, for investing in this new gymnasium for our students. Um, this is a game changer for our um, learners here on this campus. We have had to over, um, well for as long as I can remember, we have had to uh, send our students to the rec center and other places to practice sports and practices have been long and drawn out because we've only had one facility. So this will give us the opportunity for our students to be able to practice in a more timely manner. Plus our middle school students and our high school students will each have their own spaces for health, PE, and classes of that nature. I'm Jennifer Hall and I'm the principal at Elkin Middle School. To our students, this will be a facility where we can practice, where we can have games. It just brings and offers a new opportunity for learning, um, extending the development of our kiddos. It's an exciting day. We need to thank our um, county commissioners, our board of ed, um, definitely our community partners who have helped make this happen, the core team. Definitely our county commissioners uh, for supporting this project from day one. Uh, the Both school boards uh, that, that were involved in this process and especially to our director of maintenance and facilities, uh, Mr. John Altmuller. Uh, he oversaw this entire project from day one. Uh, did a phenomenal job of coordinating with all the contractors and inspectors, day-to-day uh, -day operations. Uh, he played a huge role in making this happen. I'm John Altmuller, Director of Maintenance for Elkin City Schools. This project has been a long time coming for Elkin. I've been working on it for seven years. People have been talking about it for 30 years. So it's been a long time coming and, and we're proud to see it finally, finally come to fruition. This building it, it really serves multiple functions. One, it is uh, a middle school gym. Uh, two, it's a, a high school auxiliary gym, since high school and middle school are on the same campus. Um, the biggest piece in my mind, it is the handicap accessibility for the old gym and this gym. Uh, this connects the main parking lot, the middle school, the main high school campus to our old gym, which has never been accessible before to the handicap. So, so this is this is a multi multi-function project. Our county commissioners invested 12.8 million dollars in this facility. Once people go through and walk through today, they're going to see their dollars were well spent. Uh, it's a great place for our students and our community. I want to thank the people from Pinnacle Architecture, our county commissioners. Uh, they, they have been huge uh, in funding this project. Um, Vinoy Construction, without Vinoy and Pinnacle, none of this would have been possible. It, this was a very tough site to build on and they figured it out. It's, it's been huge. It has been huge. My name's Eddie Harris. Uh, I'm uh, the Surrey County uh, Commissioner that represents uh, this end of the county and uh, the Elkin area. It's been a long time coming, uh, but we're happy to see this project completed. There's so much more accessibility on this campus for people with uh, disabilities and physical ailments 
And so it just really makes navigating from the Dixon Auditorium, the high school, uh, down to the old gym here. All of this uh, really flows nicely. The location uh, is wonderful. Uh, Chris Knopf, uh, county manager, his guidance and leadership. I like to thank the folks at Elkin City Schools that have uh, the principals, athletic departments. Um, they put up with a lot uh, for the past two years, kept kids safe uh, out of the construction area. They all had the vision of uh, creating this beautiful space so that our children could learn and grow. It's exciting.